U.S. President Barack Obama has praised Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He's praised Narendra Modi in the Time magazine. Barack Obama refers to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He wrote a short article about Narendra Modi on Time magazine's 100 most influential people. He wrote as a boy, Narendra Modi helped his father sell tea to support their family. Today, he's the leader of the world's largest democracy and his life story from poverty to prime minister reflects the dynamism and potential of India's rise. Determined to help more Indians follow in his path, he's laid out an ambitious vision to reduce extreme poverty, improve education, empower women and girls and unleash India's true economic potential while confronting climate change. Like India, he transcends the ancient and the modern. A devotee of yoga who connects with Indian citizens on Twitter and imagines a digital India. When he came to Washington DC, Narendra, Narendra and I visited the memorial of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We reflected on the teachings of Martin Luther King and Gandhi and how the diversity of backgrounds and faiths in our countries is the strength we have to protect. Prime Minister Modi recognizes that more than 1 billion Indians living and succeeding together can be an inspiring model for the world. And Deputy Editor Smita Sharma now joins me for more on this. Smita, that is high praise coming in for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his vision for India and that too from Barack Obama. I've lost that line with Smita Sharma. We'll try and re-establish that connect once again. Executive Editor Javed Ansari with me. Javed, this is high praise and that personal connect. Narendra Modi referred to Barack Obama as Barack when he came to India. In this article, Barack Obama refers to the Prime Minister by his first name. He says Narendra is doing extremely well. I will try and re-establish that line with Javed Ansari in just a moment. But for the benefit of our viewers who are joining us now, that's high praise for the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it comes from the US President Barack Obama. Obama, Obama has written an article on Narendra Modi and this is the Indian Prime Minister being described in the Time magazine as amongst the 100 most influential people in India. Barack Obama writes, as a boy, Narendra Modi helped his father sell tea to support their family. Today, he's the leader of the world's largest democracy. Smita, tell us more about this article. Well, uh, Gaurav, you know, this has actually been a tradition with the Time magazine, which is the world's uh, one of the most popular magazines. They do bring out, in fact, these lists of uh, 100 most influential people almost every year. And... Uh, of course, uh, in that series itself, what they also do is that people who have been nominated in the past or people who are in the current list, in fact, are made to write some things about somebody else on that list. So, you know, President Obama, in fact, had been asked to write about Narendra Modi. Interestingly, in this article, as you can see, that uh, Mr. Obama, in fact, did not saying Mr. Modi there, but rather addressing him as Narendra. As we saw, in fact, uh, Mr. Modi also addressed Barack Obama by his first name when the two of them were doing the press conference in Hyderabad House when Mr. Obama was in India for the Republic Day celebrations. And most of these words, in fact, we have seen them resonate in the past too. If you remember last year in Myanmar during the ASEAN summit where the two leaders, in fact, uh, did not have a scheduled meeting. But, uh, you know, at one of the formal dinners, uh, Mr. Uh, Barack Obama actually reached out to Modi and within a few moments said that you are a man of action. So uh, these are completely, clearly uh, high words of phrases uh, from, of course, the president of the world's uh, largest democracy to the prime minister of the world's, uh, you know, uh, my apologies, the president of the world's oldest yes. democracy to the world's, in fact, uh, largest democracy's prime minister at the moment. Quite a personal piece there, Javed. As a boy, Narendra Modi helped his father sell tea. Today, he's the leader of the world's largest democracy. And his life story from poverty to prime minister reflects the dynamism and potential of India's rise, writes Barack Obama. Quite a personal piece there. But certainly, Barack Obama has praised Mr. Modi. And, and the prime minister and his supporters should be very happy about it. There is no secret that the two of them have, have come to share a, a certain rap, and that's reflected once again in what 
the U.S. president has to say about the Prime Minister of India in this Truth Time magazine. And the Prime Minister's vision, the U.S. president echoes it in, in this piece. He says he's determined to help more Indians follow in his path. He's laid out an ambitious vision to reduce extreme poverty, improve education, empower women and girls, and unleash India's true economic potential while confronting climate change. So that's high, high praise. That's for, for the Prime Minister. Stay with me for a moment. Uh, I also want to bring in Sanjay Kaul of the BJP. Uh, Sanjay Kaul, what do you make of, of what the US President has written? No, I think this is uh, it's a very genuine sort of reflection on things and, and the people he has met. And, 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 uh, and Mr. Obama, as you know, probably also uh, finds uh, a kinship in the manner in which he has also fought a lot of prejudices uh, in his life. So I think uh, to that extent, uh, uh, Mr. Modi's life and story have uh, resonate with him. And, uh, and, and in some way, I think both of them, both these leaders do find uh, a certain common thread in the running through their lives. So I, I can understand it's just coming from the heart and it's completely genuinely felt. And he really does admire the qualities that he's talking about, as does Mr. Modi about, uh, as Mr. Modi has also said he does about Mr. Obama. And the Prime Minister's vision, uh, a devotee of yoga who connects with Indian citizens on Twitter and imagines a digital India. That actually captures the Prime Minister very well, Sanjay Kaul. It does also. It also sort of indicates, you know, the, the, the extremities that he's uh, able to sort of connect. Uh, uh, basically, you know, his personality, how he's, he's worked on the psyche of the people, how much he understands the people. I think, to be honest, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Modi has uh, had far greater success in that sense than Mr. Obama in his country because Mr. Modi came from nowhere, a small provincial uh, uh, politician, and who rose so quickly to become a darling of the masses. He has the sort of pull that I think politicians the world over would like to have, but probably do not enjoy. So I think that too is also uh, something that Mr. Obama, has, uh, Barack Obama, has felt very deeply, uh, has seen, and has uh, spoken about. And this is something which is very interesting, the personal chemistry between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the US President Barack Obama uh, when they first met in September uh, in, in New York and Washington DC and then subsequently when, when Barack Obama came to India and the Prime Minister has tweeted, he's responded, uh, he said, Dear Barack Obama, your words are touching and inspiring. Thanks. And the Prime Minister's Twitter connect is something that's being talked about so extensively, Sanjay Kaul. And look how promptly the Prime Minister responded. But, you know, that is part of the reason that uh, Narendra Modi has, 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 has sort of acquired uh, the image that he has. He is not one to, uh, um, uh, he's not one to ignore things. He's, he, he's on the ball. He, he reacts quickly. He responds fast. And he accepts and, 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 you know, sort of absorbs information much faster than anybody else I've known in my life. So that is one thing. The other is, of course, the connect that you were talking about between Mr. Obama and what he's felt with Mr. Modi. Uh, I, thought, I think you saw flashes of that when they, in their meeting uh, in, in Delhi. And there were many instance, instances, some of them seen, some of them not seen in public life, where I think both these leaders have connected with each other, have probably spoken and shared uh, their own experiences. And I think that's where this is coming from. This indeed is very interesting. This, this is not just praise that comes for Prime Minister Narendra Modi, but as the Prime Minister Sanjay Kohl was speaking uh, in Toronto, this actually is high praise for the nation. That is correct. That is correct. I think in that, in, in this also encapsulates basically India's place in the world. I think the fact that India's leader is spoken off like this in these, in these terms, by, 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 by a U.S. president, is very rare. You know, and history uh, will judge him. And history will remember this, that this is not very often that, that uh, leaders of, uh, of, 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 say, for instance, America have spoken like this about Indian leaders.